he wants to know, Gibbs, can you lock up out of the 4-3 defense? So everyone's kind of running 3-4 yeah. this year, but do you have anything you like to do with a 4-3 defense? I'll tell you what. Um, my gen the, but the gentleman by the name of Schemen, uh, when he played Mo the other night, he looked very, very tough out of 4-3, and I believe he was in the 4-3 over. Um, but let's see if we can kind of show... Not 4-3 over plus. Just go right. back to the other. We have the three. under. Yeah, we'll just go on this. So let me see. Keep going through the plays. Keep going through. It was definitely in that formation, but keep going. Uh, keep going. All right, yeah. So go to the play Sam Fire 2. That's the play I want you to call. The old Sam Fire 2, it. eh? Uh, don't call that. Actually. Sam Blitz call, 2? Just call Tampa 2. Okay. This is not it, but basically he was running a version of Nickel Blitz out of 4-3 over and it was tough and um so i, I liked it it was, it was the same idea uh but in this case here's what i want you to do i want you to baseline okay i want you to shift your defensive line to the left okay and i want you to global blitz the outside left linebacker now swing him left off the left edge there you go swing him left that's too far but okay yeah right there so basically so right now you're looking at a five-man blitz, right? Yeah. And that's fine, but what's good is it's really clean. Ooh. Um, so then you, you optimize, right? You optimize. So base line, shift line left, crash it left, blitz the backer, get him out there, slide him out there, and slide him out there. Boom. Too far. Get him closer. Get him snuggy. I want him nice. snuggy. And then you do the hover thing. You want to definitely... Right. Then you want to hover. Maybe you want to spy. Yeah. You, would take, you want to try to maximize then it. Then hover. Like you want to hover. Um, it, but the idea, yeah, see how it's just spicy. Yeah, it's a lot. Spicy. So, yes, can you generate this? Uh, yeah. I think why do people default to Nickel Blitz? Well, look at the extra steps that are involved here. You've right. got a manually drag a guy. Why am I going to waste my time doing that when Nickel Blitz basically does the same thing? Um, and then, okay, now now crash out. Crash your line out and now blitz the right line back, right linebacker. Slide, and then slide him out a little bit. And now get in that right over 76. Just... 10-6? Just get over. Saucy? Get over 76. Get, get, get in there. Get, up, hey. get over him. Yes. Hey. And then you're trying to boop up. He probably, once you get him a little wider, then, then that guy comes in. Now you're sending six to free any play, any f play from this formation, right? So that's the idea. Why do people stick with nickel blitz? Well, you stick with nickel blitz because it's much quicker. And, why, you know, you're going to have the same results here as nickel blitz, but it's quicker to run nickel blitz. Got it. Good answer. So 4-3, you can if you need to, but why stress it when you've got Nickel Blitz 2 available, also in more playbooks. We've given you 3-4 this year. We've given you, there's a little 4-3, 46 people like, and then, of course, the 4-4 four, four we just talked about, 3-3-5, three, three, which we'll get to, but those are some good plays from the 4-3 defense. This is the Raiders book, which has a little bit of everything, and we've gone over quite a few times. So... Guys, we totally understand that, that we're showing you a, a, another way to blitz. We get that that you're going to get quick typed. That's the whole point of why people run nickel blitz because you're not going to get quick typed and you're going to run the same pressure we just showed you from, you could argue, a better personnel set. So totally understand.